Hey guys, today I have a hamster haul. Um, I got everything here for Buttercup. I have seven items and these are all from PetStore.com. And they didn't include the prices on the packing slip, so I'm not sure exactly how much this stuff cost. But it all was super, super cheap. So I'll just go ahead and get started. The first thing I got were some treats. I actually did throw out almost all the hamster treats I had just because a lot of them were really old. So I will have an updated treat video coming soon because Buttercup has pretty much all new treats. And Steve is here to help. He thinks these treats are for him. Um, but these are a really popular treat here. They're just the KT Fiesta Healthy Toppings Papaya. Um, I had these a long time ago for my old hamster so I thought Buttercup would really like them. I know these were less than $2, which is a lot cheaper than in pet stores, so I picked those up. Another thing of treats I got also from KT are the Forta Diet Pro Health Healthy Bit Treats. These are just little tiny, like, seed treats. And I do feed some seed bars, but I don't like how big they are because, you know, portion control for any hamster is good. So I just thought these little tiny seed balls would be good. That way she can still have them as a treat but I don't have to worry about her eating too much at a time. The next treat I got is the Ecotrician Yogis. Yes, these are yogurt drops, so they will be a very rare treat just because they do have a lot of sugar in them. Um, these do say they're for rabbits, even though all the yogurt drops are pretty much the same, but these are the fruit flavor. They are pretty big drops, so I will probably like, break them in half before I give them to her. But I thought that she would like these. And the last thing of treats I got for her are these Supreme Original Cookies. These are the banana, pecan, and maple flavor. Um, I had the Yahoo's before and they were a favorite of my hamster. So I thought I would try another kind. And if you can see what they look like, these are just a smaller little cookie like that. And then I did get her a few toys. The first toy I got was this super pet natural lava block. It says it's for chinchillas and rabbits, but of course it is fine for hamsters too. This is just a chew with some little wooden pieces on it. She's not a huge chewer so far, but I thought I would try something different just to give her some variety. And like everything else, it was really cheap on PetStore.com, so I got that. And the other chew toy I got is also from Super Pet. This is just the carousel chew toy, and this is the apple one. And these are really, really cute. Once again, not sure if she'll like it just because she's not a huge chewer so far. So, like I said, I don't know if she'll chew it much, but even if she doesn't, it will make her cage look really cute. Steve really thinks all of this is for him. He actually just brought me this toy trying to take it away. And the last item I picked up was this giant 12-inch silent spinner. These are marketed for chinchillas and rats, but as you know, they don't make a silent spinner that's the perfect size for Syrians. They try to sell their 6-inch ones for Syrians, which are way too small. So I thought I would go ahead and get this because I thought it would fit fine in the cage because I was going to go ahead and hook it onto the bars. Um, after I received this, I realized that the way this hooks on um, will actually not fit on my cage because of this little hookup. So it won't fit on the bars. And this is seriously about maybe an eighth of an inch or like a couple centi a centimeter um, too tall for my cage. So unfortunately she can't use it yet, but what I'm going to do is this comes off the stand and I'm just going to have my dad maybe grind off about a quarter of an inch of this and it should work just fine hopefully. I did let her have it for just a little bit to see if she liked it and she absolutely loved it. It is really, really giant so unless you have a big cage it's not going to fit, but she loved it and had no problem spinning it at all. So hopefully after my dad just takes off a little bit that will work. On PetStore.com, you can't actually say what color you want, but in the description, I did ask, you could put a comment, and I did ask for purple, if at all possible, and I did get a purple, so I don't know if that was just a coincidence or if they did read that and were nice enough to give me a purple, so I was really excited for that. So that is just a look at everything I picked up for Buttercup from PetStore.com. You're not seeing the wheel here because that is actually already sent home with my parents, so hopefully my dad will be fixing that. I'll make sure to have that in an updated cage tour or video saying if that worked or not. Hopefully it does. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. Once again, if you have any hamster video requests, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.